Yeah. All right, now if you plan on going pro with Photoshop, you're going to need to ditch the mouse. Now, for something a little fancier, a little more professional, Alex Lindsay is here to give us a heads up on what that is. We're joined once again by Alex Lindsay, founder and head of PixelCore. Today, he's here to talk about digital tablets or digitizing tablets, I guess it is. Yes. Now, as anyone who knows, Photoshop is a very mouse-intensive application. You, know, you can't use it without a mouse. What does a digitizing tablet allow you to do that you can't do with you know, a $12 optical mouse you can buy over at CompUSA or Best Buy? If you're doing work in something like Photoshop and you need to have, you need to draw something, you need a little bit more control, something more fluid, uh, drawing with a mouse is kind of like trying to draw with a rock. You know, I mean, it's, you know, that's what it is. I mean, you're sitting there grabbing onto something, you're moving it around like this, and, uh, and, and it's not really going to, you're not going to be able to get the fine detail. I mean, there are people who do great work with their mouse, mm -hmm. but no one doing any kind of serious work or even uh, anything remotely uh, complicated when they're trying to do something that, that artistically looks good uh, is using a mouse. They're all using some version of a, a, a Wacom tablet or a digitizing tablet that's now, out there. Now, Wacom, I hear that name a lot. Is that kind of the... Leading edge, or not? The they're leader, pretty much the standard. They're the standard. So I, you know, that uh, I have used other tablets in the past, um, but none recently. <laughs> so, so you know, I mean, and when I say recently, in the last ten years, I mean, uh, they really have. Um, there were a lot of tablets that were out in the early '90s and the mid '90s. There's a handful of companies that make other tablets, but really, at almost any price range that you're looking at, this is really going to be the most solid solution for you. The Wacom uh, line, right? Okay. And and there's we have and we have pieces of that line in our office. Um, uh, what I'm showing you today is the one I travel with. Uh, we have other ones that are higher resolution. Uh, we have other ones that have an LCD screen in them. Oh, nice. So, so the Cintiqs, uh, uh, actually, you can draw, it looks like you're drawing on the screen. Uh, those are you know, like $2,000 or $2,500. Wow. Now, uh, how much is the one that you have with This you? one is, this is brand new, or this is fairly new, uh, from, uh, from Wacom, and this is called the Bamboo. It's nice because uh, what you have there is is a, a little tablet. It's not very expensive. This one uh, specifically is only about uh, it, this. This one is about sixty nine dollars. Now, once you plug this in, does Photoshop need any spe uh, special drivers? Yeah, there's a dri software. There's a driver. So the, the basic once again, this is just a standard USB connection. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing about it. It's so the one you'd see in your cameras uh, going into your uh, side. And, and this is a big change from the Graphire, by the way, because the Graphire had this built, this cord built in, oh, which was a bit of a pain in the neck. Because, Especially if you want to pack it. Yeah, you're always wrapping it around. The nice thing the Graphire, ha Graphire had was a, was a plate that would let you pop your pen into it. And if you're traveling, a lot of times you're afraid you're going to lose the pen. You know, I'm afraid that I'm going to lose the pen. But they also, pens. Don't they also sell those separately, like yeah, in I do. batches, like for 100 bucks? I really need to buy like four of these things. So, um, so anyway, so you, you hook this guy in, and if you go up to the, it'll ship with a disc, you know, that, that has... It has some free software on it, but if you're looking just for the driver, if you already have Photoshop and you're looking for the driver... Uh, you can download yeah, it. Yeah, you don't even want to use the disk because whatever is on the disk is not going to be as current as what's on the website. On the website. And, and Wacom's web website generally is, is fairly good you know, as far as it comes to uh, getting an, uh, uh, the, the driver that you need. So once you have this set up, um, once we go in here, you can see that this is the pen tablet. And so there's a couple things that I can do here. Um, one is I can decide, uh, once I have this set up, I can decide what, uh, uh, like the tip feel, how firm. Uh, so I can decide how hard I have to push to get to that. Um, then I can also have, I have the same control over the eraser. I also have this new center little piece here, and this allows me to zoom uh, in and out uh, from different, from different uh, applications. So the... Uh, so now, um, so anyway, that's pretty much the, uh, you know, that's all the, the pieces that you really need to do. Once you have that set up, and that takes about, you know, minutes, uh, now what, what I can do is uh, I can start to draw. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in here and uh, I'm going to set this to black. Oops, let me grab that. And I can start to draw. Now watch what happens when I push harder. You can see that it's thicker. Ooh. Let's uh, pop it open here. I can go in here and look at my brush tip shape. Um, and I can uh, look at my dynamics. So here's other dynamics. And this is part of Photoshop, or is this? This part is of all part of Photoshop. So this stuff is all set up. So like my opacity, uh, you know, I can set up pen pressure for the flow, uh, right? Which is what's going on right now. Um, now another thing that we use this for a lot is uh, finally is dealing with uh, revisions. So I get, you know, I'll get some animations. Mm -hmm. And let's say this was a photo of Amber. And what I'll do is I'll, you know, I'll set it to red. And, um, and a lot of times, you know, it's much easier for me to go in here and go, 
you know, I need this to change. You know, these, you know, this area oh, here, very this nice. area here is, is is broken here. This needs to all go this direction. You know, we need to, uh, you know, fix this ear. We need to move this. See this hair over here. We wow, I'd be so self conscious. Yeah. So, well, this is this is a. I mean, this isn't a good example of it, but but uh, I, you know, I should use a different photo. But the the point is, use is my that, photo. But, you know, let's show Amber. But the, the point is, is that is that the. Uh, uh, what this what this does essentially is, especially if you do something like Snaps Pro or a Camtasia, where you're capturing the video, mm-hmm. you can capture the whole screen and start drawing on things, and um, and kind of a telestrator like they use in NFL. Exactly, you know, and, and, and but you can do it. You save that video and then you send it out to uh, you know your, whoever's working on the project. And you get a much better, uh, it's much faster. So this is something new to you. Um, I would highly suggest just getting something that's as inexpensive as possible. And this is about as inexpensive as it gets. Right. Thank you, Alex. And back to me. And thank you very much, Alex. I'm actually have to pick one of those up. I bought one of those kind of no-name brand tablets. And you know what? They don't work very well. Oh. It's like the, the precision isn't there compared to a Wacom. It's it, a must. It is a must. You should at least try it if you're into graphic arts work. Definitely. Or just uh, an alternative to mousing. Um, Really, I mean, if you think about drawing or even doing any kind of artwork with a mouse, it's like doing it with a bar of soap. I mean, it's just so, so kludgy. I just bought a new mouse. It's so nice. Yeah, but you're Mm -hmm. a gamer. Yeah. All right. 